so yeah uh hey guys what's up and um right now is the 7th of december and i think it's a pretty good time to talk because uh, my parents aren't home i'm free and um yeah it's been one two three four so yeah, um, it's been eight days. I haven't talked to Cedric for eight days now, and uh, funnily, I don't, I don't really miss him. I don't really think about him. I know it's kind of harsh to say that, but honestly, it doesn't feel any any different. Maybe it's just that Cedric is a little bit too um, distant from me for a long time already. That right now I'm kind of used to it already. Yeah, Cedric, he's a great person. And uh, if he really is in deep trouble, I would definitely help him. But right now, it's, it feels like that he doesn't need much help. And even if he does need help, he would not approach me for help. So I guess um, we are not going to be talking to each other for, I don't know, but I'd say at least a month. But maybe even more. Maybe we will never talk to each other. Like between me and Bernice and between me and with L or M or, yeah. But, I owe you guys something. I owe you guys an explanation. Because, uh, so on November 23rd and 24th, I also made a school update video that I recently uploaded. In fact, I uploaded yesterday. But, when you are watching this video, it's probably uploaded like a week ago or something. I don't know. But, I haven't told you guys what happened on November 23rd. So, let's talk about that. So, uh, first of all, yeah, first of all, my friendship with Cedric and Natalie was pretty much dying on November 23rd. Right now, I and Natalie talk way less, but we still talk and we're still kind of friends. And, uh, I don't complain about anything and she won't you know, yell at me, so we have a deal. But uh, me and Cedric, we we didn't talk. So, uh, it was really dreadful. It was kind of hopeless on that day. And um, after school, I really wanted to stay behind and stay at school to wait for Leo and Cedric. They were in the computer club and uh, I am not, so uh, I wanted to wait for them because there's some sort of activity, there's some sort of event for the computer club, so uh, I'm, I'm not in it, so I have to wait for them. So I decided to wait, and I stayed in my classroom for A. Here comes the great part. All right, so uh, at that moment, so I was waiting, I was waiting in 4A, and then two of my classmates were also in the classroom. And that was Ronald and Oliver. Fake names, again, totally fake names, but they were Ronald and Oliver. So, um, yeah, so basically they were playing volleyball inside the classroom. They were throwing the ball around, catching it, and I'm just, you know, walking around, sitting on chairs and thinking and walking and talking, I guess. And then suddenly, an enemy an enemy girl came in. I, I want to stop using the term enemy girl. Let's say the girl from the other side, M. M for Mary. Again, fake name. Mary is like a name for for girls who were born in the 1920s. Gosh. Um, but yeah, let's say her name is Mary. Of course, her real name is not Mary, but I'm just going to call her by Mary. Mary comes into the classroom. 
So Mary, Mary is a more special person. So if you don't know, there's a she has a history like she was once my friend for like two months with Cedric and Bernice, but we all split up. And then, you know, a lot of strange things happened and then a lot of mystery kind of occurred and it involves Mary a lot. Yeah, I didn't, I and Mary didn't talk to each other for about one and a half years since year two. And uh, a lot of things happened between those time concerning Mary and Linda. Yeah, L for Linda. So, um, Mary was a really suspicious, mysterious girl. And at the same time, she's also really talented. And um, she's good at a lot of languages like she speaks fluent American English. She can do accents as well. She's fluent in Cantonese, Mandarin Chinese. She's fluent in Korean and her dad's native language. I'm not going to tell you what country it is. <laughs> Sorry, it's privacy. Uh, anyway, Mary was a, was, a, was a really special person. So, um, yeah, for... For almost a year, I had always been thinking about, you know, if Mary would ever talk to me again, would, will Mary ever tell me what's going on? Like, would, would Mary answer all my questions about the mysteries that she's involved in? So, um, yeah, so it's been a while and um, I, I really wanted to reach out. To Mary and Linda and their friend Caroline and um, Oliver even Oliver is her friend also and uh, I just want to know what's going on between them so suddenly all of a sudden Mary came into the classroom and joined the volleyball fun I guess and um, so I was sitting there in, in the back of the classroom and Mary just came in like right beside me and then you know she kind of played around with the volleyball and um, she suddenly mentioned a, a name I guess Idris so Idris is Mary's classmate Idris was my classmate in year three and it we were in 3a and then Idris went from 3a to 4c so right now mary is also in 4c and idris is also in 4c so now they were classmates so mary mentioned idris and uh i love impersonating people i love impersonating teachers and my classmates so i was like i was impersonating idris like i, I don't want to i'm not imp trying to impress people I'm just I'm just doing it naturally just for fun just for uh, a chuckle I guess so I was like are you insane like of course it's in Cantonese but are you insane that's what Idris says all the time and then Mary like heard that and I was like oh shit I, I shouldn't have done that like and then Mary was like that's my name do do it again <laughs> so yeah uh, it was a bit awkward but of course I did it again are you insane and you know Mary and a bunch of her classmates laughed and I am pretty sure they're not laughing at me and they're laughing at my joke I hope it's it it's in that way I hope they're not laughing at me if they're laughing at me then they're thinking I'm some retarded dumbass bullshit like what Natalie thinks of me but I hope they're laughing at my joke but what's so crazy about November 23rd is that it's the first time I've heard Mary say my name since 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 November 9th 2016 
uh, yeah, yeah, and, um, he spoke my name, and, uh, I don't care, duh, she just, she just said my name, so what, I don't care, anyway, her saying my name already is enough, like, if the progress if this is the end of the progress, I'm fine with that. I'm really grateful that she simply said my name. And, uh, it's really dumb. But, uh, I'm actually happy about that. I don't have a, a relationship with her or anything. But, hearing your old friend say your name the first time since a year ago is really lovely so i guess one door shuts and one door open like like this is cedric and natalie and jeffrey and and tyrus and uh, they all hate me but on the other side mary just said my name <laughs> this is way worse than this like this cannot cover this up one good thing can convince me to not focus on so many other bad things. So yeah, with optimism, I am going to continue having a little bit of hope in myself. Finally, after a very long and anticipated wait, I can finally sleep. That's all this had been about, sleeping. I really wanted to sleep. So, uh, Christmas holidays here so I can sleep all day long. But, uh, I also have to revise and review for the exam right after the Christmas holiday. Ah, shit. Every time I open my jaw, like, every time I unhinge my jaw, you, you see these things? These plates, these small things, one of them's inside, like, right there. So, every time I unhinge my jaw, it scratches the inner wall of my mouth, and it fucking hurts. It's, it's making me bleed. It's hurting me. And then this, this one as well, it's, it's hurting me. And then there's another one inside. Shit. It really hurts, alright? Every time I want to eat, I want to speak, I just can't. So basically, um, right now everything kind of sucks a little bit. You know, my health conditions isn't in the best condition. My health isn't in the best condition right now. And uh, I get hurt easily. Like, like... The weather is really dry, so my skin is really dry, and I just, you know, I just hit something, and I just get hurt. And, uh, again, this is a nuisance. It's quite annoying, and, uh, you know, there are some, some things on the braces that's, like, poking my skin. And, uh, it really hurts. And, uh, also, um... Again, my phone, the battery is going down really quickly, really fast. I don't know why, but uh, it's really going down, like, fast. Same for my storage space in my phone, which is um, going down really fast for some reason. And uh, I don't seem to find a solution to this. And then there's the... Um, the whole exam thing right after the christmas holiday we all of us hong kongers will have an exam and uh, i have zero confidence whatsoever so uh shit 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 uh i i i don't know i don't know even if i like revise even if i study hard chances are i i won't get get into the top 10 of the class chances are i will 
I will still suck at Chinese. Chances are, my chemistry exam will still be underwhelming. Chances are, all my friends will get higher score than me. So, uh, zero confidence. But, uh, school just ended, and now I get to sleep. I get to sleep for over six hours. Usually, I just sleep for five and a half hours, or just six hours, like, in this year. Usually, last year, I usually sleep zef se seven hours or six hours every day. But on this year, it's more like five and a half hours and six hours asleep. So, um, I get really sleepy and tired in the morning, like many others, of course. So, being able to sleep is such a great thing. I can sleep in the morning, I don't have to wake up in a hurry, and, uh, you know, my quality of life is, is a little slightly better. But yeah, uh, I, I still look really fucking ugly with no mustache and, uh, braces, but... Uh, speaking of which, I'm gonna talk about the last day of school, like in 2017, which is Christmas party. The good old Christmas party. So, uh, yeah, everyone had fun. I didn't, I haven't talked to Cedric for three weeks. And, um, you know, usually in year two and year three, I would write Christmas cards. And uh, last year, I wrote one to Mary. And I also wrote wrote to Jeffrey, I wrote to, uh, did I wrote to Jeff? did I write to Jeffrey? I, I don't think I did, but in year two, I wrote to Jeffrey, Mary, you know, the usual friends, Jordana, uh, Linda, Cedric, Natalie, and on year three, I wrote to six people, and, uh, that is, uh, I think it's, uh, Jordana, Cedric, Natalie, Jeffrey, Mary, I think I forgot, but, but, you know, there's that. So this year, I decided I will not write Christmas cards anymore, because A, I am 15 years old. I am more mature than that. And the second, it's, it's a nuisance. It's a hassle. But, um, I still got two Christmas cards, one from Natalie, and, uh, yeah, this is Natalie, Natalie's handwriting, and, uh, inside it, it's really underwhelming, nothing too deep, but, um, thank, thanks, Natalie, appreciate it. And, surprisingly, Cedric also wrote me a, a letter, so, uh, these are the symbols of us. And, uh, in the letter, he basically says, um, you know, I don't hate you, and hopefully you don't hate me, can we be friends again? And I thought for for a while, and I'm like, sure, like, sure, of course, we want to, I want to be friends with you. And, um, on November 28th, I kind of announced that our friendship has ended because of the things that had happened, uh, around that time, uh, but right now, I think I can be friends with Cedric, but maybe not as friendly as before, but still, maybe we could still be friends, maybe. <sighs> and, uh, that's basically the, the last school update of 2017. School is really boring in 2017, but, uh... I guess it's also kind of a good thing. And, uh, you know, in 2017, it's like we are the, the usual, you know, the usual people around me have separated into two groups. Like, I had a bunch of friends, but all of the friends kind of separated into two groups. Now three! You know, not much happened in 2017 in terms of school. Meanwhile, 2015 and 2016, like the first half of 2016, a lot of things had happened. 
but now it seems like it's the is the complete opposite, which is very peaceful, very fine, very normal. There are a, a couple of conflicts once in a while between no matter is it between me and my friends or my friends and my another and my other friends, but you know it's not too big of a deal. We come over it, we get over it, we be friends again. We won't hate each other. I hate you. We will not be friends again. We are 15 years old. We are mature. And we will not, you know, cry over spilt milk. Or, um, cry over, like, small issues. But, um, you know, I do admit that we all make mistakes, including me, myself. But, uh, you know, things will turn for the better and hopefully... We will turn for the better. So, school life in 2017. How's yours? Comment it below.